rise. It's been too long. Breaking news! A new episode of Let's Be Frank starting now! Hello all! Today is a very good day. It has been so long since I've done a food versus food, which is what I'm officially calling it now. I've called them like food competitions in the past. This is better. Food versus food. It's been such a long time since my last one. What was my last one? Uh, the cereal one? Uh, Moe's versus Chipotle? I, I can't remember which one it was. One of those two. My uh, good lord, it's been a while. But today is going to be a really good one. One that I have wanted to do for a while. This time, we're talking about subs. Nope, not, not those subs. The other subs. Well, actually, not those subs either, but while we're on the subject, why don't you subscribe? Yes, we should talk about those subs, but not for very long. Subscribe if you have not already. Um, but, uh, that's not the subs that's having the competition. These subs, yes. The kind of subs that you eat. The sub sandwiches. But, we, which two are the best? So that's what we've got to decide between. Uh, and there are two sub uh, uh, companies that we're going to be talking about today. Subway is like the biggest fast food chain out there. And I know what you're thinking, no, it's got to be McDonald's or Burger King or something. It's not. Subway has more locations in America, or maybe overall, I don't even know, than McDonald's does. Comes as a shock to me. I never would have guessed. I never would have guessed. So then it begs the question, which other sub uh, chain should go up against Subway. Well, the first two that popped into my head were Jimmy John's and Firehouse Subs. Now, I know I've done a three, uh, uh, like a versus, versus, versus before, you know, of McDonald's, Wendy's, and Burger King, and Papa John's, Domino's, and Pizza Hut. I've done those two before, but I didn't want to make this another 3B. So I decided that whichever uh, uh, food chain, uh, Jimmy John's or Firehouse Subs, whichever one had more locations in America, that's the one I was going to go with. And uh, I have the results of that right here. So there are 2,758 Jimmy John's locations in the United States as of April 18th, 2022. Fun fact to go along with that, um, the state with the most number of Jimmy John's is Illinois, which has actually 289 locations, totaling in 10% of all Jimmy John's locations. Firehouse Subs, on the other hand, only has 1,197 locations as of April uh, 20th, 2022. Uh, and again, just the same fun fact, Florida actually has the most firehouse subs across the entire country with 175 locations, making up 14% of all firehouse subs. I, that's so cool. Go Florida. There's another win. Now today's video is going to be Subway versus Jimmy John's. I've kept you guys here for long enough. Let's go get these subs. So in order to keep things fair at both places, we're going to do an Italian sub from both and a meatball sub from both. Because at sub places, you can pretty much like customize everything you get. So keeping everything, you know, the same is going to make for a more fair experience for both places. So we're on our way to Subway first. So let's go get our first couple of subs. All right. Going in. All right, there we go. On to Jimmy John's. So something I gotta mention about the spicy Italian sub that I'm getting. Whenever I order an Italian sub, doesn't matter from where, I always get them 
extra wet. And I know that sounds weird, but I like a lot of extra oil and vinegar um, on my Italian subs, so much so to where it's uncomfortably soggy. And it probably grosses a lot of people out, but that's just, I like the flavor of oil and vinegar so much. It all, all the flavors just combine together. A nice soggy bread, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of trying to get to Jimmy John's as quick as I can. So my soggy sandwich doesn't get, doesn't disintegrate, I guess is the right word. Oh boy, come on Jimmy John's. At least it's on the same street as Subway. All right, just arrived at Jimmy John's. I'm gonna go inside and get the final two subs. It has occurred to me that I have no idea how Jimmy John's works. They don't sell hot subs, so they don't have meatball. I, I got this thing called a, a bootlegger club instead. It's got like turkey and roast beef on it. It's nothing like a meatball, but what, what was I supposed to do? Um. So maybe it's gonna be a little bit less of a fair fight than I thought. Also, they got like a 16 inch, eight inch, and like a super mini or something. They got a couple of eight inches. They did have an Italian, they had a spicy Italian. So that's gonna be the real fair fight there. But man, this is, uh, I, I had no idea that, that Jimmy John's was so different. This, this really does make me curious as to how Firehouse Subs does their business, but we'll save them for another day. Let, let's get on home and test out these two subs. All right, everybody, it's time to do the taste test. Now, I did put on my apron because I just got this shirt today and I absolutely fell in love with it on Etsy, so I don't want anything bad to happen to it. I am eating a meatball sub after all. But that aside, we're gonna start with the Italian subs. because those are, those are the same, so you know I don't really expect much difference, but you know, I could be wrong. Oh yeah, Jimmy John's didn't even ask me what kind of bread I wanted. This is a dry looking sub, man, look at that. I, I told you in the car, I like my subs to be extra juicy. They didn't even ask me, which to be fair, Jimmy John's isn't Subway. It's Subway, you can have it your way. Is that Jimmy, look, no, that's Burger King. Why isn't that Subway's motto? At Subway, you can eat fresh. I know that's their motto. Oh man, this bread just, bread, see, you ever see that game theory video, not game theory, food theory video about Subway's bread being closer to cake? I like that, that's not a bad thing. Nice, soft bread is what you want when you're eating a sandwich. This is, listen, <laughs> this is firm. This, okay, I just gotta eat them. I just gotta stop complaining. Subway's gonna go first, let's take a big bite. Mm. Growing up, I'd always get Italian subs from Subway, my favorite. But just because this taste is known to me doesn't mean it'll be better than the newcomer. So let's try Jimmy John's and see if they can hold up. Okay. Okay. This is interesting. I would definitely prefer it to be more wet, but they did put mayonnaise on the bread, which is appreciated. And unbeknownst to me, uh, they added some, or at least one teeny tiny tomato and a couple pickles. Now, of course, in Subway, you can have what you want, I just added lettuce and banana peppers, kept it simple. Now, okay, if you notice inside the Subway sub, there's, you know, you can see the meat in there, the cheese, the lettuce, and then there just seems to be a lot more meat in this sandwich, which is a good thing. That's something to keep in mind. I'm gonna take another bite real quick. That, that's a surprisingly good spicy Italian. Guys, this is, I was expecting Subway to have, ooh, 
Speaking of the spicy Italian, that's a spicy salami. I was expecting Subway to have a runaway success with their spicy Italian, but oh good lord. We gotta come back to the spicy Italian later. Let's test the other subs. Now, here's where things kind of get a little muddy. All right. It's gonna, it's not really a meatball versus a bootlegger or whatever this is called. The spicy Italians are gonna be what decides which is better, you know? These two are just the added bonus. So let me go ahead and try Subway's. I will say, this is kind of floppy, you know? Subway has a lot floppier. This is a much more hearty sandwich, but let, the Subway was sitting a bit longer, so let's go ahead and get, get a good bite from the Subway meatball. Very good. Yeah, that's a classic taste right there. That is a classic taste. Um, okay. And now for the bootlegger, which, uh, it's got roast beef, it's got turkey. Uh, yep, more tomatoes. That's definitely mayo on the uh, on the bun. Hey, it looks good. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Not the best. Not the best. This one is dry. Definitely dry. Um, there needs to be some kind of sauce on here, you know? Whether it's, oh, mustard. Mustard would do wonders on this sandwich. But, you know, this is the nature of the beast when it comes to subs, you know? They can be customized in so many ways. You know, that's why it was so difficult for me to uh, do Moe's versus Chipotle because you can customize these bowls. I mean, I did try to do the same things in every single one, but some stuff slipped through the cracks and... Okay, I've got to make a decision. Based on, since these are just so completely different, although I will say this bootlegger is gonna knock a couple of points off of Jimmy John's, whose Italian sub is better? That's basically what's gonna determine. But, oh, good Lord. Yes, I am very happy to be eating. <laughs> That's gonna determine who wins here today. Good Lord, <sighs> I'm fine. <laughs> Subway or Jimmy John's? I was pleasantly surprised by how good Jimmy John's Italian sub was. It surprised my taste buds and, and gave me something satisfactory when my brain was already thinking, I know how Subway tastes, I know how good that's gonna be. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna do something completely unorthodox, completely out of the ordinary. I don't think this is a fair fight. I don't think this is a fair fight. So you know what we're gonna do? Just for today, we're gonna declare Subway today's winner. But I don't wanna start bashing Jimmy John's because this, this isn't a fair fight. It's a completely different ball game. So you know what? Next food versus food is gonna be Jimmy John's versus Firehouse. Yes, I know Firehouse doesn't have as many locations as these, as these other two, so you might not know of their uh, sub flavors and whatnot. That was a weird way to put that. Their subs and whatnot. But I don't think this is a fair fight. Subway is a completely different kind of beast. The breads are so completely different. Everything done is different. I think I'm, I'm enjoying the Subway side a bit more today, but I think next food versus food, Jimmy John's and Firehouse Subs are gonna go head to head. And that will be the true test to see if Jimmy John's can actually hold up to other sub competitors. But that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you are happy that food versus food videos are back, please let me know down in the comments below. And if, and besides the, the future subs, if there's any food you wanna see go head to head, let me know down in the comments below and subscribe to see more videos in the future. 
Uh, follow my Instagram and Facebook at Let's Be Frank 2020 and follow my TikTok at Let's Be Frank TikTok. Thank you all once again for watching. It feels so good to be wearing this hat again. Until next time!